Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful day here on the farm. And I want to thank everybody for stopping by. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. So I am out here in the greenhouse this morning, uh, double checking on these crops here. We got a bunch of eggplants coming up nicely. Uh, the zucchini that I seeded for the field, 50 cell count trays are ready to go out. Look at these. I mean, it's been, been a couple weeks here, but look at that. Beautiful. Ready to go transplant. Got some yellow squash there. Cucumbers germination was poor. That's the one Isaac did there. I don't know what he did, but see, whenever I germinate stuff, look at that beautiful solid tray. But whenever Isaac starts doing something, I have no idea. The uh, cantaloupe over there are looking good. Watermelons are looking good. Got to go out here pretty soon. We got some more red deuce here on the bottom, ready to go on the field. And then this is for high tunnel number two here. We got the BHNs right here. Red Deuce, Carolina Gold, and Florida 91. So these will be ready in a couple weeks to go out in the uh, uh, Strawberry High Tunnel or in High Tunnel number two. And uh, this is what today's video is about, is talking about High Tunnel number two. So if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you guys know I'm all about trying things out, new things, trying to see what works, what doesn't work. And of course, I planted a High Tunnel here full of strawberries. So at first I was really excited, really pumped up. It gave me gave me something to do all winter long. You know, I was super stoked about it. You know, like, man, this is going to be the new biggest thing is high tunnel strawberries. But now that we're into harvest and it's already the middle of May here, uh, it's not looking too hot. And I'm going to go ahead and explain what is going on. So not only the flavor on my last video you guys saw in here is uh, not too great, but on these Monterey's here, <clears throat> these day neutrals, the insects are back. So... As you can see here, these Monterey's here, these day neutrals, even some of these Albion's here, the leaves aren't looking too healthy. I've been coming through here and trying to keep them managed, but the two spotted spotted mites, spider mites are back. Two spotted spider mites are back on the plants here. If you guys remember, I uh, did clean them up in the fall pretty heavily, sprayed them pretty heavily, pretty religiously out in the fall. And coming in spring, they're nice and clean. The plants were looking great, and, at, uh, and as season got busier and busier out in the field, we started U pick. I wasn't spending as much time in this high tunnel, and uh, whenever I first saw, saw the first uh, spider mite damage, I started <clears throat> those sprays again and started coming back out here and making sure that the um, trying to keep these plants nice and healthy. And I heard from other growers that in the spring, if spider mites come back, they're really really hard to manage, just because the um, Stuff we do use has a uh, PHI, so the pre-harvest intervals are three to five days. So if you come through here and spray, you can't harvest for five days and you start losing crop. So that's what I'm running into now is the, um, the chemicals or the sprays that will work for these. If I do use them, then we won't be able to harvest and the fruit starts going bad. So it's, it's we're in a tight bind here. And you know, I don't see any aphids, just these spider mites here are just kind of taking over. And, you know, after we get done picking, I might come through here with some um, some pretty, uh, like, soap or something like, something like that just to try to keep it, you know, kind of mild. But that's no, that doesn't kill the actual plant, the, the insects here. So I'm not sure. It's, I feel like in this high tunnel, it's one right after another. And it's it's a never-ending battle. And I'm, I'm questioning right now if it's even worth the wild messing with this, putting up with the... Um, the expense and my time and energy in, into growing these you know the ones out in the field are just looking beautiful nice healthy plants are actually loaded and the ones in here you know so much time and energy was spent already and you know you get run into problems like this and another thing i'm kind of disappointed about is the production it's not really been as great as i expected as i thought initially so like right here on these chandlers and roccos the roccos in here are pretty much done for there's very few berries on them left we didn't pick too many and the plants here are just they got so big so tall they're just kind of flopping everywhere i mean these they do they, the plants loved it in here but it was a little too much and the same thing on these chandlers there's not many green berries left so uh yeah the production's not here some of these are still flowering but the problem is it gets so hot in here and i didn't put in i'm not going to put on a shade cloth up until the tomatoes are in here so yeah if the production ain't here and we have a lot of issues with disease and, and insects then it's kind of i'm debating back and forth in my mind i'm like what is the point of even trying to 
trying to do. So I'm sorry if I'm feeling a little pessimistic this morning. I'm usually a pretty optimistic guy, always looking at the positive side of things, always pretty excited about things. But, you know, like I say in my other videos, these high tunnels are the more, most precious land we have here on the farm just because they're protected. The, we're able to control the environment, the weather, the, the watering system, and kind of control the weather. You know, we could put some heaters in here or whatnot, or try to cool it down with shade cloths. And if it's not making that return on investment, as we initially expected and thought, then we're kind of at a, at a stalemate, you know, me versus the plants in production here. So I'm not sure if uh, maybe it's just me. I'm just a bad farmer and shouldn't have tried so many different varieties in here. You know, if, as you guys heard me say in the uh, other strawberry video that I made in here about the flavor and how disappointed I was in that, you know, you have, you added that on there. Production's not on as we expected. You know, they didn't really produce as early as we thought. And now we have all this insect issue. So, uh, you know, the insects currently are not affecting the quality of the berries, but long-term for the longevity of the plants, you know, it's, uh, it's not doing us too well or too great to have so, much, so many insects. Like I said, the ones out in the field, like the Chandlers out in the field are absolutely loaded with green, green berries. But in here, there's just hit and miss. I mean, there's not many, many green berries left. The plants are pretty sad looking. So, look at this. Not much left here. You got a few red ones, but uh, that's about it. Maybe I'm just used to those June bearings where they have, you know, 20 to 40 uh, small baby fruit on them. They produce them, and then the next round comes out. Maybe these day neutrals are like this, and they just have very few flowers, very few uh, uh, buds coming on them, and uh, very few uh, flowers popping out. But one thing I would say, and I really like, about these albions here are the size of the fruit is just awesome so look at this the size is just amazing these are some big fat berries and you know i haven't watered in here to increase the flavor and it's helped out a little bit but it still doesn't compare to the field uh, strawberries so you know it's a give take for everything you know you're on these day neutrals it's a nine month production versus out in the field Four to six weeks already also uh just a quick little video i'm sorry for ranting off at you guys but this is the reality of farming you know we'll have tomatoes coming in here uh first second week of june whenever these plants get done for we'll probably come through and rip every single plant out we're gonna plant through the same plastic and the same drip tape use the exact same system here just come through here and uh rip them all out clean it up and get tomatoes in here and the tomatoes i know will do great Hopefully, I don't know. In here, uh, even last year with tomatoes crop, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't too great. So maybe it's just this high tunnel alone, where it just gives me so much problems. But like I said, it's the most precious land we have here on the property. So if it's not making us the uh, income that we expected or even thought initially, then there's no point of trying to of, of keeping it grow it grow anything in here. So, yep, high tunnel strawberries are okay for now. So out here in high tunnel number three. And just look at these tomato plants. Talk about some thriving plants. I'm gonna come through here and stake these today. But uh, these plants are just looking awesome. The uh, first flower clusters are putting on some serious fruit here. Look at that. This is one of the smaller flower clusters there. Putting on some serious fruit. They're loving it. Everything is growing nicely in here. I gotta come through and stake these right now. Alrighty y'all, so this is gonna be pretty much it for today. Like I said, a quick little strawberry update video and like I keep repeating, we are super, extremely, extremely busy with the U-Pick here on the farm. So it's hard filming videos and doing the whole U-Pick and, and do, seeing busy with customer service and doing all that stuff. I, I, I you know, whenever strawberry season gets done for, we uh, start harvesting tomatoes. So then <laughs> the work never stops. That's part of uh, farming. And you know, as farmers, that's what we look forward to is the super busy months, May through October, we're just constantly running. And then once November, December hits, we're, you know, it starts becoming slow. And that's when we'll have a lot more time and do a lot of different projects and uh, keep busy. So uh, anyways, this is uh, going to be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Go and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day. We will see you next time.